What are they thinking right now? Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for joining me, Mystic Mia Moksha, here on We'll See in the Moment for another Love Pick Card reading. We're looking at what they're thinking about, yeah, in general, but mostly about what they're thinking about you, and even if they're thinking about taking actions towards you. We have four piles here. We choose a pile based on the color, the crystal, the number, or the emoji that resonates with you. Timestamps are below. These are timeless readings, so it should resonate whenever you watch these, and it should resonate no matter what your status in love is. Keep in mind these are general readings, so once in a while the full message will be for you, but usually it's for a lot of people, but there will be a message in there for you if you felt guided to that pile. I just want to say thank you so much for the support of my light work. I love and support your light work as well. And with that, I hope you enjoy the reading, and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile 11. With the lovely citron color and the serpentine crystal, we're looking at what they're thinking of right now. We're going to look at one general answer of what they're thinking, and then the rest of the questions are going to be right all about you. So let's start with where are they thinking about right now? Whatever it is. The lily. Oh. So lilies refer to aging, wisdom, sexuality, maturity, and harmony. So they are have they have been thinking about like their life in general and how it's been kind of how they've matured in, in relationships and how they think about things in the world. And um, you know, I'm getting a sense of like like a little bit of a pride, like a little bit of like a tiny bit of a smile that they're putting on in their face, like, yeah, like I like who I am now, I like where I'm at and no, I'm so much more myself in relationships. I know so much more about them. And um, I know so much about like what I want to do or who I am or feeling comfortable with the direction of my life and, you know, where I am today. What else are they thinking about? Blossoming. Yeah, I, I'm getting this, this um, feeling of like, this is this is the beginning of my life. Um, so no matter what their age is, it feels like they finally got to a place where they can finally start living life how they, like, according to how they feel like it's the right way for them. So, like, yeah, no matter what their age is, like, I feel like, like, I'm, I'm at a place where I can finally start living or give more attention to the things I want to give attention to, like relationships or connections with people or, you know, I, you know, my career or my finances or my health is everything's kind of like squared away. I can spend more time with people I love or I can spend more time in the hobbies I like or in the, in the career that I actually want to work in or whatever. Um, just spending their time more in the things that are authentic to them things that they like um so they really just feel like they're just starting life now and they're totally okay with that whatever their age is they're like yeah I'm I'm happy I'm starting all these things now like when I want to do it like later in life no now is a good time and not feeling any regret or remorse like they realized that it took them their experiences whatever they had to get them where they are now ready to start this new life so that your person is really primed and ready to go for you know, this new chapter, um, whether someone that you've been with or someone new coming in or something that's just getting off the ground, they feel really, really ready for something new. All right, so let's see. Are they thinking about you? Just in general, are they thinking about you at all throughout the day? And if they are, like, are they thinking about you a lot? Listen to your intuition. So I do feel like you know, <laughs> this reading is more of a confirmation for you. Vacation, you will be traveling soon. So I feel like for most people, this is a situation where um, this is something new. And you feel like, yeah, I have a feeling they feel this connection as strongly as I do. And that we're going to be spending a lot of quality time together and having a lot of fun together soon. And you know, you know, when you get that feeling, it's like a deep sense of knowing. It's like, I have a feeling this is going to be something magical and special and very deep, like a deep connection. 
And um, so you know, <laughs> this is more of a confirmation. Uh, if you're single, this is something, someone coming in and you can feel that like you're meeting someone who's on your energy level. So this might be somewhat of your energy as well. Uh, but if you're in a relationship with someone, um, your person is definitely feeling like rejuvenated and you can probably feel that this is a revival coming into your relationship where you're about to start a new chapter together. So I think you know. <laughs> I think you know that they're thinking about you, but not only just like, oh yeah, Pile 11 cute or, you know, I, I have to tell them this like joke I heard today or something. It's more like, yeah, I wonder where we, where our next trip is going to be. Like, I can't wait to get our next trip planned you know so it's, it's more it's more fun it's more of a deeper thought um yeah they like you and you know it <laughs> all right so what about you are they thinking about a lot date yeah we did talk about like a bit like a vacation with you but also like date night getting back out there meeting someone new setting a table get date online yeah that's why i'm getting like for most people this is like something new because I feel like you're either single and you're about to meet this person and you're in the same energy or um you just started dating this person they're like they're thinking about going on dates with you and having fun and they're thinking about what, what kind of dates to go on with you um and if you are in a relationship with this person for a long time it does feel feel like yeah if they um if you've been with them for a very long time it feels like they've been they're um they're getting excited about going on dates with you and and there's a little bit of like a exciting butterfly in the stomach kind of feeling where it feels like oh this is like um it feels like we're young again and we're you know going on, the, on all these dates like we used to kind of thing um strength card i am i feel i'm getting like um we deserve this we've been so strong especially for um, new new couples coming together. Like it feels like, yeah, we deserve to have our fun. Like this is what we worked hard for. Like we deserve to have as much fun as we've always dreamt of. I'm getting um, like, I'm getting a tinge of jealousy of like maybe um, friends and family and coworkers and you know, people around you coming into their relationships and feeling like you're missing out or you know feeling like if you're not going to get that for yourself or you know when am I going to get that or you know feeling like you've put in a lot of energy and effort and will it ever pay off yeah spirits like yeah it, it always does it always pays off you always get get the rewards for your hard work especially when it's so authentic to who you are and your person knows it too because I feel like they have a similar energy where they also worked really, really hard to get to this place. And so it really, both of you are taking a time to kind of appreciate how far you've come and just acknowledge like who you are now. Because I feel, I feel like whenever you come into a new relationship, you get kind of flashbacks of like previous relationships and like how that went and like you, you know you don't want to compare but you can't help but compare um and it, it doesn't have to be like a bad energy if you're just like oh yeah like you know I love how things are going in this relationship and how we started off like this or how we talk like that or how our dates are like this like it's not bad if you just kind of like look at the positives of it for like a little bit so I feel like it's just kind of like a you're acknowledging you know you're acknowledging that like this feels right um and you get your just desserts <laughs> that you worked really hard for and this person did too so let's see um are they thinking of taking actions towards you pile 11 are they thinking about taking actions towards you girl with a snake okay empath narcissist part paradigm uh, being charmed or used enable boundaries okay getting a lot of snake references um today and i'm getting like it's snakes get a bad rap right <laughs> um if you look at the chinese astrology if you're born in the year of the snake it's like okay it's, it's, it's someone who's really really wise very intelligent and yeah people who are very intelligent can use that 
quality to manipulate others, but everyone manipulates, you know, everyone wants people to like it, to like them. They, um, answer to people in a way that they think would be the most appealing or caring or loving, or, you know, you're always manipulating your image to people, even the people that you love the most, because you want to appear for them in the way that they want sometimes. Um, so it's not like manipulation is not always a bad thing. I feel like it's not manipulating. That's not the word. Um, not coaxing, but yeah, no, I think coaxing is the right word. It's like gently persuading someone or um, making them feel some sort of way or leading them to an idea that you think is like the highest and best good for them. Yeah, so I feel like you're very charming. You're very witty. Your intelligent people are usually very witty. And that you sometimes they're usually like very funny sometimes, or can be. But sometimes they're very like talented, like musically, creatively in some ways. Um, and they usually have um, an eye for success. Um, not everyone lives up to their potential. <laughs> they have these qualities. Very very intelligent. Um, but they have that potential. Um, but it doesn't mean like if they don't, even if they don't live up to the potential, it doesn't mean that they aren't, they stop being smart, you know, they just don't, they just use it for stupid things. Right. So, um, I'm getting like, they're trying to stay, steer clear of you for a little while until they kind of get, like, know that they're not being used because they're like, this pile 11 is so smart. Um, they could Probably they could be pulling one over me and I just wouldn't know. Um, so they're being like careful around you at first, but, but you have such a bright, sunny personality and disposition that they're like, I trust Pi 11, but like they're trying to make sure that you're not, that you are who you say you are. You're not going to like do anything wrong or bad towards them. Um, but you are extremely charming. Um, they just think that you're so charming and so attractive and they're so seduced by you that like there's a little bit of a danger here that they could fall into something bad. You know, you could be a bad person they wouldn't know, you know? So they're just being careful. Okay, six of pentacles, but they do want to go on a date with you. Um, and they, they are responding well. So I'm getting a lot of good text messages or messages back and forth. Um... They are willing to plan dates with you. They are willing to hang out with you and talk to you a lot. So I feel like a lot of what they are doing at this time I mean, in terms of actions is messaging you a lot, talking to you a lot, planning dates a lot, and giving you little gifts. That is definitely in their actions. Like they don't mind doing that. They won't regret like um, spending money and time and energy on you like that. Um, I think they just like like you so much that they're scared that you're someone who's, you know, way too good for them. And that might be for a reason and it might be for a bad reason. <laughs> so they're just kind of, you know, making sure they get to know you a lot, <laughs> a lot better before, um, yeah, moving, moving closer into this connection, which is completely normal because it feels like you two are just like in a dating phase or about to be, or entering that again. If, you're, if you've are if you been in a relationship with this person for a very long time, um, this energy is just about, like, they want to make sure that they have, that whatever this new adventure is for the two of you is also something they want and not just something that you want and that you got them to kind of get them to do or get them to believe that they wanted to, you know? So I feel like uh, gentle persuasion is a, as a really... A strong quality of yours, pile 11. Um, but I feel like you don't use it maliciously. I definitely do think you respect people's free will and you, um, you definitely gently persuade or push people towards a direction if you feel like they would enjoy it, they would like it. Um, it's something that they want to. Yeah, all right, so let's see. We have a bonus message for you, Pile 11. Let's see, do these thoughts um, of you go fit in well with their other thoughts about you? 
So do their thoughts about you fit in well with whatever else they're thinking about during the day? Um, reflection. Oh, wow. This is swan here. And six of cups. Oh, my goodness. So six of pentacles and six of cups. And six is a um, number of union and harmony and um, like um, heartfelt decisions. And it's definitely the number for relationships. So let's look at this reflection card. What is that about? In the guidebook, um, they use poems for each of these cards, which I think is cute. But um, the poem for this is On a serene pond, moon's reflection and stillness, stonefall with will disturb, merest drop of wrath, crystalline facade shattered, heart and mind obscured. Restore inner peace, ripples will cease to distort, decisions will be clear. Yeah, so I feel like when they still their mind and they just kind of listen to their heart, they have such a strong feeling that this is like something very, very powerful. The connection between the two of you is like each other's reflection mirror, like a divine counterpart or twin flame. So it does feel like a very, very, like when they still their mind and like just pay attention to the heart, it seems like a very strong connection you two have. But anything right now, any like little pebble that falls into the lake or whatever pond here um kind of distorts that for them and so they they are trying to get to a point where they have full confidence in this um energy that they're feeling it's just so strong and powerful that it's like hard to kind of um surrender to it um but it does seem like once they get to a point where they trust their mind and heart um, more. Um, it'll be very clear for them that this is like going in a positive direction. This is like, this is the right thing for them and the right kind of union, very blessed divine union. It's just very different from anything that I have experienced before. And in terms of relationships, and it's, it's, it could be very scary for someone who's not ready for it, but clearly they're ready for it, and so are you. So right now, there just might be a little distortion with little ripples here and there, but it's not something big. It's just a little pebble, little rocks. It's not a huge, like, tidal wave. Um, and so it, the decision will be clear for them that they do want to pursue this and move forward. I mean, they're already thinking about dates and vacations with you a lot, but... Um, yeah, it's, there's no big deal. There's nothing to worry about here. Everything's kind of normal. I think everything is actually better than you could hope for. Um, yeah, pile up and congratulations. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated, I really appreciate a like or comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile 22 with a lovely peach pearl color. And the Lemurian Quartz Crystal. We're looking at what they're thinking right now. So the first question is going to be generally what, what are they thinking about and overall. But the rest of the questions are all going to be about you. So let's see what are they thinking about in general. Book. Okay. So the book is about education, mystery, research, secrets, documents. So um something along those lines something unknown that they're trying to figure out okay so i'm curious let's see what they're trying to figure out are they trying to do some research on peace okay i'm getting this feeling that they're curious as to how you come off so peaceful if it's not you it's just how people in general just can be so, so at peace like stress-free not with riddled with anxiety or feeling overburdened. Um, I feel like they're doing a lot of inner work or healing work and they're doing a lot of like, they're looking at a lot of like self-taught kind of topics. Um, like self-help, self-improvement type of books or knowledge maybe if it's not like, I, I feel like for most people it's like to be more at peace within themselves in their inner universe but for others it's like 
just things that they can do in their day-to-day -day life that can help improve their whole life in general. Maybe organizing things or learning about certain things or how to get into this kind of career or how to you know, or, um, clean your home in, in a better system or even how to meditate or how to eat more clean or whatever it is. I feel like they're kind of in like a self-improvement kind of energy. So they're thinking about that a lot and they're looking at articles, watching videos, doing some research, talking to people about it a lot. You know, when you like get so interested in something, it's like all, the thing, the, all you can think about and like look into. I feel like that's their vibe right now. All right, so are they thinking about you? And if they are, are they thinking about you a lot? See that, unlikely, okay. And why is that? Distance, okay. So this might, this might be someone who's at a distance from you and it's kind of you know that's like saying like out of sight out of mind so if they are far away they um aren't thinking about you as much just because you're not in their day-to-day -day world um or if you're single and this person is still kind of they're not like in your physical vicinity yet um that's probably why also because they don't know you just yet um but also, if you've been in little to no communication with this person, or you've been in a relationship with this person for a very long time, um, it feels like they needed to gain some distance in order to kind of work on themselves. So I feel like there's some stuff that they needed to figure out, and they're doing that, and they kind of needed to like not think about things that might hinder that personal growth for them. So it feels like they're really taking some time out to work on themselves, and... Um, if they know you, they needed some distance from you in order to kind of do that. Maybe um, you were the one who kind of inspired them to do so or kind of made them realize that they needed to work on themselves a little bit. Um, they might be even doing it for the relationship if you have been in a relationship with this person for a very long time. But for a lot of you, if this is someone new coming in, obviously, uh, if you haven't met them yet, like they're in... This person coming in is someone who has been upping their um, self-improvement game. I feel like this is someone who's been on that kind of journey, but they really, really um, went the next level right before they meet you. I wonder why they're meeting you. Probably because they upped their game. <laughs> um, and if you're in little to no communication or... Um, you met this person online, they just don't think about you as much or because it just, they don't see you, yeah, in front of them often. So that's that's kind of the only reason. Um, okay, but if when they do think about you, what are they thinking about? If they do think about you, what are they thinking about? Separation, yeah. Okay, we got that energy here. Sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future, yeah. So if this is someone that you know, they're kind of like missing you and they're kind of maybe, for some of you, they might be bitter. There's, keep in mind, I'm reading for a lot of different um, people here um, in different situations, but this pile brings together people with a similar message that spirit can deliver in a way that like umbrellas everyone, so that's why. Um, but right now, uh, I'm getting sadness, bitterness. So some some of them are sad and they're actually taking some time out to kind of work on themselves. Maybe you're the one who broke up with them. Or even if they broke up with you, they're, they're sad about it. And so they need to kind of work on themselves for a little bit. Um, they're harm going into hermit mode and kind of just, you know, working on themselves. Some of them, they're a little bit bitter. And so they kind of try not to think about you, you know. Um, and others, of, uh, others they're, they're missing you. If they... If this is a connection you've been in and they like, you know, there was something here. They definitely miss you, but they understand and realize that they need to work on themselves. If they even want to think about being in a connection with someone like you, where they have to be better. I'm getting, they have to, they feel like they have to be better, which is um, totally fine. Like they're... They want more from themselves and they recognize they want more from themselves. So it has nothing to do with like 
your expectations or your wants and desires put on them, they feel like they need to be better to be in a relationship with you or to be in a relationship with someone like you. They are thinking about you. So yeah, like it says unlikely, but I feel like it's because a lot of them are suppressing the feelings or trying not to purposely think about you, but they can't help but think about you sometimes. And it does push them to kind of work on themselves. Um, An uncertain future. Yeah, some of them are really worried about if things will turn out the way that they want them to with you. And so they need to step out and kind of step out of this connection. Maybe this is something where they're taking a break from you or need um, need some time to work some things out on their own. Um, and for the singles out there, let's see. Take a risk, yeah, in reverse. So I do feel like this person, if they're, sing- if they're single, they're ready to kind of jump back in the dating game. And so they're kind of brushing up on themselves. And, you know, when, you, when you're feeling good about yourself and, you, like, you know, you're ready to go back into dating, you're ready to go, like, take on the world, maybe take on a new job, career, hobby, whatever, um, you kind of really work on yourself, right? So if you're single, like, they're, they're working on themselves and they're ready to kind of get out there as their new improved self um but for those of you who you know this person they definitely want to take a risk they're they're building up their courage their bravery their strength their spiritual and physical strength in order to come back stronger to you and take a huge risk and be like i'm i'm ready for something deeper something more committed something more stable insecure something more long term yeah something where we can see each other every day something where we can work together on long term goals yeah so this person is getting ready you know they might not want to think about you while they're doing this kind of inner work because they want to do it for themselves but you are definitely the reason why they are even why they even started off on this like self-improvement journey recently all right, so are they thinking about taking actions towards you? And it seems like a yes, but let's see if we can get more information about that. Healing heart, yeah, see. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, so this person might have just got out of a really difficult relationship or they might have felt like the relationship with you was really toxic, but they're taking responsibility and they feel like, you know, they're a big part of, re- well, a big part of the reason why the two of you didn't work out. Or things were going in a in a um, bad direction, and so they really needed to like take themselves out of the situation and reset, like completely. Um, they might have also been having a health issue or an addiction issue, and they knew that they needed to deal with that before they come back into the connection because, um, yeah, like they weren't being themselves and they were, their issue was the thing that was um, making the connection not work, you know? And they recognize that. Okay, and wow, 10 of cups. I do see that there is promise here, pile 22. Divine love, harmony, blissful relationships, inner happiness, fulfillment, dreams come true, family contentment. So I do feel like First of all, if you're single and this is a new person coming in, um, they are ready to take on a really harmonious, loving relationship. And you can, you'll be able to tell right away just because of the way that they're behaving, the kind of effort they're putting in. It might not always be perfect, but like they are improving and you can see it and they are putting in the energy, putting in the thought, um, taking action, you know, being very open and honest like they're doing the whole thing right um if this is a little to no communication or situation where you took a break from this person and broke up or you know taking yeah taking yeah break from each other or you two are at a distance and that was the issue um 
it feels like there is a potential for this to turn into a really harmonious connection. Wow. This person really put in the work. So this has the potential to do that. The only issue here is that you may not want to give this another go. You know, even though you might think like, hey, yeah, this does look promising. It does look like it could work this time and it could be really something special. You might just be tired of this connection or you might want um, a change and so you're not so reminded of the past which is completely normal if that's the case the universe will send you someone that is on the same energy as this person now as an improved version um, where you are at now but um this all depends on you pile 22 on what you decide to do i feel like this person does it you don't really hear about this kind of comeback story but they really really transform themselves and really work hard to kind of not just for you like they, they want to be this person personally so that's why i'm getting like even if things don't work out with the two of you because you say so because i feel like they are coming back taking a risk after doing some healing work inner work and for the intention of creating a really harmonious relationship and the intention is really strong there so i feel like for most of you that will that could come to fruition if you so choose. Um, I feel like no matter what you decide, like they did the work to be in a better place in their life anyway, so they'll be fine, whatever you choose. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, let's look at the bonus message for you, Pile 22. Let's see how well you fit in with their other thoughts of you. Um, or the other thoughts that they had throughout the day. Like how, how do your, their thoughts about you fit in with the other thoughts um, that they have during the day? Shelter. Interesting. And page of wands. Okay. So in the guidebook for this deck, it's like in the form of a poem. It's only a few lines. And it says, a downpour is coming. And not everything can weather the storm. Sometimes you are a shelter. Sometimes you take one. So I do feel like there's like a major change happening for you soon. Pile 22. And um, Page of Wands here, I feel like it's it's up to you. It's like, I feel like there's a huge change coming into your life, Pile 22. And it'll be advantageous um, if you are in a very supportive, loving relationship. And so it's, it's up to you whether you want to kind of take this path or another path. Whoa, I just saw three crows come up. And three crows have like a really big significance to me spiritually. Um, was around during my spiritual awakening and during important times. So I do really see that something very big is happening for you, Pile 22. I think you might be going through like a paradigm shift or an another like huge spiritual epiphany or um, a huge change in your spiritual energies. Maybe you're getting a download or a spiritual gift come online that's going to change your life and world significantly. And it might be... Um, kind of helpful to kind of live out this next chapter in a relationship. I'm getting, yeah, I get, I'm getting, yeah, whether it's this person or another person that comes in for you, I feel like you have your pick. But it might be advantageous to have a teammate at this time. You know, even if it's just a platonic, strong level soulmate friend that you want to keep this person at. Um, it does seem like whatever is coming for you is a huge change in the way you see life. Like that's, it's going to change everything in your life. Like how you view every area of your life. It might be helpful to um, seek shout Like... Seek a connection where you feel like you're, you're 
you're being sheltered, um, you have shelter versus having to be the shelter for someone else. Yeah, so if you're trying to figure out if you have a choice between this person and another person or if you have a few choices or um, this person comes in and you're like, I don't know, like I feel like something big is coming into my life. Like I think I need to be with someone who's on my level. Um, or this person comes back and they feel like they're ready and they're primed and they can be that support system for you, that shelter that you need and you can be theirs. That's the feeling you want to go with, Spirit is saying. You want to go with um, that connection, whether it's platonic or romantic, um, but it'd be advantageous to form that connection with this person, whoever this person is. It could be a friend, it could be a soul family member, it could be someone like, you know, platonic, but I do feel like if something is happening for you, Pile 22, very soon, and it would be very, um, it's very strongly advised from spirit right now, your spirit team, that you create a, a strong bond with someone, even if it's just friendship level but someone who can give you support and give you shelter versus you having to shelter someone else when you're going through this big huge change um whether it's this person new person just a friend soul family member spirit wanted me to bring that through first before we talk about this person's thoughts i think this person is like very um yeah eager to kind of play ball but I feel like um I feel like the energy is very curious and very childlike and it's very pure and innocent and you know you might really care for this person um but I feel like they're just kind of at a place it depends on you file 22 if you're the kind of person who's at the same place in your spiritual journey this is a perfect match if you're um a lot further along um, this might not be the most, the best match for you, but it doesn't mean that it can be a good friendship or someone that you can mentor or check in on or be, you know, um, keep a f friendly vibe with or something. So, um, yeah, it depends on the person that's watching this because there's so many people with so many different <laughs> situations that pick this pile that I had to cover them all and spirit brought through the message that they needed to bring through so I hope you appreciate that and so with that if you resonated I would really appreciate like a comment let me know if um anything here like popped out at you and it was like with a huge like significant sign for you um and with that I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light hi beautiful pile 44 with a lovely morning mist color and the aquamarine crystal. We're looking at what they think what are they thinking right now? So we're gonna look at what they're thinking in general for the first question, but all the rest of the questions are gonna be what they're thinking about you. So let's start with what are they thinking about in general? Birds. Oh, that's cute. So birds is kind of about like small problems or restlessness, chatter. Maybe a little bit of anxiety, communication, siblings, gossip, um, new vision or something, excitement, maybe gossip, you know, just a little bit of like, a, you know, what's what's going on? This might be like a little bit of like excitement at work or something or something, some gossip in the family or their friend circle, or maybe they're just really excited about something new um, that they're interested in or something new that just kind of popped up on the news or something. But yeah, something like that, something that's like got their attention. Ooh, what's on the, what's on the, um, trending page for them? Protection, it came out in reverse. Okay, so I, it might be something about, something that affects them. Maybe it's like, um, news about what what the direction of the their workplace is going in and they're like oh am i am i safe am i not going to get fired like am i is my position safe I'm like is my salary going to get stop, cut or whatever um or it could be because i feel like a d direct link like it could be some sort of politics or something about you know what's going on in the world or in in the country and feeling like 
you know, am I safe? Is my goal safe? Are people I love safe? Um, yeah, but I, and a little bit of anxiety. So, so, so I'm getting something about like job security, money security, um, you know, their well-being and the well-being of the people that they love. Um, it could be something like someone in their family, like a sibling that just, you know, is going through a rough time in their marriage or something, or, um, or a friend, or, you know, for a friend who just got, like, fired from work, and they're like, oh my goodness, I work in the same line of work or similar, like, what about my industry or something? So something along those lines is what they're, what your person's thinking about right now. Okay, so are they thinking about you? Let's see, are they thinking about you? And if they are, are they thinking about you a lot? Yes, oh wow. So they do have you on their mind and I do feel like you're kind of in a little bit of their concerns when they think about all these other things going on. Like is pile 44 going to be okay? You know, how can I make this better for the people I, I like? It matter to me. You know, so you are on their mind and they are thinking about you a lot. What about specifically Earth sign? So I'm getting kind of about your physical well being, your health, um, your ability to take care of your financial matters, your responsibilities, kind of like your survival needs. Um, survival needs, your health, your well being, um, family, relationship how you'd be affected physically from any of the things that they're concerned and worried about. So if you're already in a relationship and they're worried about their job and their job security, they're worried about how they're going to take care of you or take care of the family. Um, if anything were to happen, a little bit of stress about that or the way that the country is going or, you know, um, like, some, like a health situation that might be affecting the connection or... You know, even if this is something more platonic, they might be just worried about platonic or um, something new. Um, it might be something that they're just like, oh, like, I wonder, like, will they be okay? You know, maybe they weren't concerned about you. Maybe you recently lost your job or have are on the fritz about, um, about that situation or maybe you kind of had a falling out with a sibling or a family member or something like that so they're concerned about you but yeah I'm getting kind of like general concern about you like this person cares about you whether there is romantic um interest here or if it's more of like a friendly vibe with like a romantic kind of like slight romantic interest or if, if you've been in a relationship with this person it kind of depends on that situation but they are concerned but they this person actually does care about you whether it's a little or a lot depends on your situation, but yeah, this person is generally concerned for your well-being, um, as they are with theirs. So like freaking out a little bit, um, but not like extremely freaking out. Just just as much as a normal person who works nine to five would, you know. Not everyone nine to five people who watch my channel are usually really high, highly spiritual and like have a more zen outlook in life and kind of take care of their health mentally emotionally physically and spiritually but um you know those that don't <laughs> um normal for those folks all right so what about you are they thinking about we touched on a little bit here but what else are they thinking about also with the earth on here i do think about they think about you consistently um, and they have been thinking about you a lot. Ascending, learning and expand, expansion, transcending, preparing for union, new phase. Okay. So I do feel like, yeah, they're a little bit concerned because they want to start a new phase with you, um, of the connection and, um, they just don't want anything to interfere with that. Any like outside environmental influences to affect the connection between the two of you so that's why they're kind of a little bit worrying you know you only you only worry about 
um, losing the connection when if you're really, really in love with someone, right? So they're really, really in love with you or really, really care for you. Um, again, I'm getting for some of you, this is a platonic connection. I know some of you kind of read these piles, not just for romantic love, but other people in your life. And I love, love, love that. I definitely want to do more readings where it's like, oh, it could be your love interest or someone else around you because you mirror your energy, not just to your partner. For most people, it is your partner because they're like the closest person to you. But also it could be through family members, friends, um, people in your neighborhood, co-workers, like any, it could be through any person that you mirror these issues or problems or um, lovely energies with, not just your partner. So um, I love that energy, but I do get that this person is preparing for a new like version of their life and therefore a new version of their connection with you as well. Cleansing in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person went through a huge purge. They got rid of everything that, do that doesn't serve them anymore. Um, they might have actually went through their things and kind of, you know, threw out a donate or um, the, the things that they, they have, they, they physically possess. But um, that's just a representation of the immense amount of um, energetic change that they went through, spiritual change that they went through. It came out in reverse and so did ascending. So I feel like this is an energy that's already come to pass or, or they're already in and it's kind of like wrapping up or kind of, or it could be an energy coming in. But I feel like this person, this has already started for them. Whatever this energy is, it has already started for them. So they do think about you in that way. Wow. This is turning out to be a very highly spiritual reading. But it seems like this person does understand like moving into the fifth dimension. Like that concept. And they're looking at you and they're like, are we going to do this? We're going to do this together. Whatever it is, whether it's romantically or platonically. Um, this person is like, yeah, we're going to do this together. And they're getting pre prepared for that. And they're like, yeah, our relationship is also going to change. But the way we see the world is going to change. The way we think and behave is going to be nice to know that I got a friend in you. Or I got something more than you. So I'm a partner here. Oh, I love how there's like a lot of birds here. These image. And then like the moon three times as well. I mean, this is a moon deck. Both of them are moon decks. These are both moon decks. <laughs> um, and then being in the sky again. Let's see. Are they thinking of actions towards you? Are they thinking of actions towards you? The golden mirror. Okay, I when I saw the golden mirror, I immediately thought, like, twin flame, divine counterpart energy. And I felt that because I was like, this is a highly spiritual reading. Um, this person is thinking about you this way. I'm getting like, okay, so on my other channel, Mystic Me Moksha, I channel really highly spiritual readings. And I mentioned that there's going to come a time where like twin flames or divine counterparts or true love connections who have been on a spiritual journey for a very long time and kind of ahead of this ascension are going to kind of hermit mode together like you and your partner and like a platonic soulmate friend maybe a few soulmate uh, soul family members or several and kind of go through this kind of change together and kind of support each other and rely on each other a lot for that so that's the kind of energy i'm getting not any of whatever's written here uh, let's see if confirm energy yes confirm okay knight of cups Creativity, romantic, charm, and imagination, beauty, knight, and shining armor, following the heart proposals. Okay, so I do feel like this person is like, is a huge relief when they come in for you. Because I do feel like this person is like coming in for you. I don't know. If, if you've already known this person, if you're already in a relationship with this person, they're showing up. And they're, they're not, 
afraid to show you like they're showing up i feel like they're proving to you that they'll show up for you time and time and again when when they're needed especially when they're needed um not just when they're needed but especially when they're needed um for others of you this could be someone at a distance or a little to no communication or someone who's been like a friend and it feels like they're coming back and it gives you a huge sigh of relief like yeah this is happening and i'm glad to have my friend by my side this is really great or it could be it's like you're meeting new friends or new new community members that are going to be um, a part of this um kind of circle for you that you can rely on for support as you go through these changes um and then for others of you this is like a romantic love situation it could be to a plane trying to part either someone you know or someone you coming in that is coming in for um union divine union so, um, and they recognize, like, this is, this is my ultimate soulmate, right, energy here. Um, and so it might be a huge, like, surprise, but also a huge relief for you that, like, yeah, like, everything you've known was coming, um, that's been prophesized. Um, I mean, I have my own version of events to follow, uh, into this year, into next year for Twin Flames and Divine Counterparts. I have a couple of those readings on this channel recently but um you know people have their own versions but they're pretty much similar i've seen um i think mine's some more detailed <laughs> and um more specific i've been doing that prep work for twin flames for a long time this is my arena this is where i excel um this is they'll know they'll know this is my divine counterpart this is what i need to do this is the action i need to take um and they'll have things ready to go like hey let's let's brainstorm let's get together let's talk let's figure this out let's move closer together or move in together um something of that that energy and yeah if this isn't like a romantic interest which for most of you it is um it could be a friend soul family member or a mix of all above all right so bonus message for you pile 44 let's see how well do you fit in with their other thoughts now? With the other thoughts they're having now and today, how well do you fit in with those other thoughts that they're having? Inner garden. Love that. And ten of wands. Wow. Okay. So the guidebook for this deck is in the form of poems. It's a short one. I'll just read it real quick. When all the kindness in the world runs dry, don't let your soul harden like the cracked earth. Remember the lush paradise inside your, of your heart. A little garden of solstice, sol, a little garden of solace, where compassion reigns, where the, cra where the cloud reigns forgiveness, where petals of delight float on the surface of the unspoiled pool. So yeah, I'm getting definitely this energy of like success with it, which is what 10 of wands is, but burden with success, right? Because like once you reach the top, like you had to stay at the top and, or like, you know, manage everything from the top, you know, it's like a, it's a, it's a lot of work to maintain success, right? Um, or big accomplishments, um, or it, it gives you another set of work um, to do. Um, or responsibilities and I feel that for this connection there's a union happening for you pile 44 with your divine counterpart and it feels like I love this like beautiful inner garden with this like a rainbow prism right underneath this feels like this garden is shining this light so pretty um, and I love this that there's a crystal on this card as well crystals okay and birds which is like a sign that like you're communicating with the higher guidance right but then the earth and the garden so this like this air and earth kind of sign um and then the moon with the knight of cups so we got like the water there what are we missing fire we got the ten of wands um yeah so i'm getting this energy of uh, okay something is going to happen <laughs> pal 44 um uh, something is going to happen um in the rest of this year um, I'm recording this on 2024. It's the timeless reading, but something is coming up. Even if you're watching this at another time, something might be coming up more personally for you um, and or this person that affects your environment, affects the people around you. Um, but overall, in general, when I'm recording this 2024, um, something something is happening. 
and it's gonna look uh, dark and kind of meek outside and it's kind of it's gonna be kind of scary looking but this is a time that lightworkers have been prepared for and star seeds, twin flames, whatever you want to call yourself, those people who are in the divine light and very strongly connected, um, you're going to be protected. So there's going to be success in that you two come into union. It's like, yes, you met the love of your life and you come into union or you come into like really profound, true love union. Um, and then that's gonna you're going to be in a really happy, go-lucky mood because you're going to be like in honeymoon phase. But there's going to be like you know, things crashing and burning and looking crazy outside. So it's like, this has been like a preparation for um, a lot of divine counterparts. It's like, your light is going to be so, so, so bright. Your energy, your frequency is going to be so high. That's going to like offset all the negativity going on in the world. And that is necessary at this time for the transformation, for the great awakening that is happening. So just to let you know, like, don't feel guilty of coming into this relationship and really enjoying it and receiving a lot of abundance because you are meant to, because you're meant to keep the frequencies high and keep your head down low. Don't even look outside. Maybe he help a family member or friend here or there, but you're not meant to focus on anything but yourself. Don't feel no guilt. You are doing a world of service with just being happy in that energy. Even if you two are hermited alone, with a few friends like that's all you need you don't you really your soul mission here your purpose here is to keep your frequency as high as possible and it's going to be hard not to with your union with your true love so success but there's work that comes with it okay so um if you know you know pile 44 if you resonated i really like to know um in the comments and uh, if you like the reading i really appreciate a like and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light Hi, beautiful pile 88 with this lovely beach grass color it's kind of like a light brown with a hint of pink or red and this tibetan black quartz crystal we're looking at what they are thinking right now so the first question is going to be what they're thinking about just in general and then the, all the other questions are going to be about what they're thinking about you so let's start off with just in general what are they thinking about right now the key. The key is about unlocking answers, openness, solutions, accessing, opening doors, and importance. Okay. So it definitely feels like they're thinking about um, opening up to a new opportunity, taking an opportunity, um, kind of looking at things in a different way, um, trying to work through something. Okay. Let's see if we get more information about that. Change. Okay. They definitely want to change something in their life um we didn't get anything too specific i could pull a clarifier a dark man okay dark man um i feel like they want to change bouquets compliments from admirer so i feel like they um they want to change um I'm getting they want to change dark energies out there. And I was like, oh, is it dark, dark energies within themselves? And I'm like, no, I'm not getting that. I feel like this person is actually a really, really highly divine soul like, with a lot of light. Um, and then the bouquet compliments from an admirer. I feel like they want to change the world, like change... Um, People who are in like the lowest of low of frequencies, you know, someone who is like uh, having the roughest go at it in life or um, is in the most uh, darkest and evil roles here in this lifetime. So I feel like they really want to make a great change in the world and are um, like they actually want to be doing it or be involved in it somehow so this person has really high ambitions i feel like they've kind of they're either just awakened to the truth about out, out there the kind of true evils out there and they kind of really want to 
do something, they've been affected by something they've seen or heard or um, witnessed, and they want to make a real change out there in the world, or um, they've known about this, and they're like, you know what, it's time, like, I can't just sit here being, like, sad about the things happening, I want to make a change, I want to do something about it. Oftentimes, when we look at the darkness out there, it's a reflection of the darkness within you slash in humanity. So becoming aware of your own shadow and like the darkest aspects of yourself is usually what happens. Shadow work is usually what happens when you feel like, I want to be the person who does good in the world and like makes the world a safer place for other people and like great great like that's not a bad thing but usually it comes with a lot of shadow work too and so you you might have to do a lot of this person might have might be doing a lot of um uncovering truths about we see the key unlocking finding out the truth about um the darkness that they hold within them you know it would be kind of hypocritical to be like, oh, other people are bad, but I'm not, you know? So it usually doing this kind of work um, usually comes with also facing your own inner darkness. And it can expand onto doing shadow work for the collective where you look into not just the depth of your darkness, but the depth of humanity's darkness. And like usually it's like you kind of figure out how far you can go. Um until it's like call it quits like um the kind of shadow work I've gone into as a light worker is like the the darkest of dark energies you can go into because that's how much light I'm meant to hold that's the amount of um that's like the amount of energy work I'm meant to do in this life right so but not everyone is meant to do that um and I, even me, like, I went that far, but I don't actively do that, right? Like, I work in, like, getting people in into their loving energies, into true um, love connections and um, connecting with the life and their, their career and their life purpose and in their abundance energies for their highest and best life. Like, so even me, like, for as dark as I've gone, like, it's not, like, my... Um, uh, purpose at least in this chapter of my life um but I feel like your person it depends on how far they're uh, how far along they are in their spiritual journey but if there's someone new and just awakening to this kind of energy it's like oh my god being very appalled by like the craziness of um violence and hatred out there um it's usually an indication to kind of look inward and kind of look at your own shadow work and um that's how you can improve the energies out there because like you're connected to the collective hive mind right so if more people kind of do their own shadow work it goes to all like the darkest corners of humanity and they start evolving their consciousness too and they're they they are forced to work on their shadow work as well so just working on your shadow work is enough that's all you have to do for most people in this lifetime. That's all you have to do is just do your own shadow work. You don't have to do it like I'm going to sit in here, this dark energy for years and years until I finish all my dark, uh, um, dark shadow work. No, it could just be like whenever it comes up, right? Um, but also choosing and wanting to be of service to others and be in the light is a sign that this person wants to go into some sort of light work. Um, which is a sign that they probably want to take on a bigger spiritual journey in this lifetime, which means that they're probably an older soul. And if this is all resonating with you, it's probably because you are too. Old souls resonate <laughs> and attract other old souls, right? Uh, unfortunately, that is far, few and far between, but like with this awakening happening and it's like collective raise in consciousness, more and more old souls or light workers, star seeds. Um, highly divine souls are finding each other more easier nowadays than before. So, um, you know, there's a little bit of ego still here. They kind of want their, like, the accolades and, like, the, the fame a little bit, the acknowledgement that they are doing this hard work and that they're going for it. But, like, that's not a bad thing. You can use ego to push you forward. You can use 
your befriend your shadow self to push you forward at times and in this case like to push you into doing the work that you want to do and keep yourself motivated and keep going right sometimes help others sometimes the, the thanks you get for it whatever um whatever it is i feel like this person is on like a mission to create change in the world um big thoughts pile 88 your person is thinking some big thoughts right now some life-changing world-altering thoughts um but i'm guess i'm guessing you're probably a very um open-minded very wise old soul that um thinks about the world's problems a lot too um so do they think about you and if they think about you do they think about you a lot not the right time. Yeah, they're on um they're on a kick here, <laughs> Palladine. So um I do feel like they um they're going through something. They're like figuring something out. I feel like for some of you it's an awakening. For others of you, they're just going through some intense inner work right now. Honeymoon, but they do they do see you in a very very bright light. In fact, you might have been the inspiration for this um kicking their inner work into high gear um honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding okay so i do feel like they're a little bit busy but they are in a very very high frequency state of mind so if you two are connecting when they're in that like high high frequency state of mind that means that there is a really really strong bond here like a soulmate level divine connection kind of bond so um they're busy <laughs> they're like um probably i'm letting you know i'm a little busy right now but i have big things to do but uh they are kind of in this really beautiful state of mind state of being where they're like floating a cl cloud nine right they're floating the clouds they're really if they're connecting with you and this energy um they really think highly of you extremely highly um, in fact, they might even daydream about you a lot. They might use you as a way to escape the bad, horrible things that they see. You know, um, usually it comes in, like when you're doing shadow work, you kind of do it in like chunks, little chunks, because it's hard to do in huge chunks sometimes, unless you're like used to it. But um, I don't recommend that. Like you don't want to go crazy. <laughs> you want small chunks at a time at all you can handle, um, unless you're really um, well-versed. Because I'm getting like people on a spectrum here and their spiritual journey um but i do feel like they do use the image of you and like thoughts of you like fantastical very fantasy like thoughts of you when they are kind of like tired of doing this rough tough inner work you know and then they daydream about you and it makes them happy um, and it keeps them, it's, it keeps their vibes high. It keeps their frequency high while they're doing this kind of stuff. Okay. So what about you are they thinking about when they think about you? Grounding. Yeah, see, you are a very grounding energy for them. And they need that right now. So I wouldn't blame them. Um, stability and security. Performance, growth, and endurance. Yeah, they're really making moves in their inner work and in their spiritual journey right now and their understanding of the world and their beliefs and who they are and you know finding out truths about all sorts of things within themselves and out there i always say that the the amount of you can only see the amount of the amount of truth that you see out there is is equal to the amount of truth that you know and see within yourself so you can tell that you know if a lot of people are ignorant about a lot of topics out there it's probably because they're so ignorant about a lot of truth about themselves. Like they don't really know much about themselves even. So, um, you know, you can't really... I want to look down at them as they're just where they are in their journey. Um, it's just kind of like, don't hassle those people because obviously, like, they're not going to be able to see it. <laughs> they're not going to be able to see it if they can't see the truth within themselves. Um, and usually when you can, like, everything else in the world, it kind of, like, not... Not that you accept it, but you it makes sense, like, you know. Um, and if you understand it, then you can kind of, like, not let it take over your whole mind, you know. Um, and 
figure out your part in this and do that and focus on that keep your frequency high you know and a lot of people are like well how do you seem so calm when with this idea or that going on in the world it's like okay well you have to open up your mind and open up your understanding of things and see the truth you know it takes a lot of lot of work right releasing yeah they're doing a lot of release work so a lot of times when you do a lot of shadow work um you're doing a lot of uh releasing of ideas and beliefs that you might not no longer hold you know or prejudices stereotypes or um old beliefs so uh there's a lot there's a lot of change happening for this person wow i love that the colors of these cards are also very earthy like the colors and crystal of this pile even like the mushrooms here even though they're not brown but you know in real life they would be all right so are they thinking of actions towards you? Are they thinking about taking actions towards you? Self-indulgence in reverse. Um, they're focusing on themselves, but it's not for any self-indulgence reasons. It's literally for inner work. It came out in reverse. Like, you know, they are doing a lot, a lot of inner work. And so it's not because they don't like you or anything. It's just because they their focus is on something really, really important. In their life right now the sun card in reverse i love that because the sun card in reverse for me is that um things are getting better and better at each passing day and so this person is really making huge leaps in their spiritual journey um, inner child, feeling down, pessimism, negativity, depression, sadness, delays, yeah, carelessness. Yeah, I do feel like cloudy setback. Like they have to co go between like confronting these really tough ideas and ideology and um, old beliefs and versions of themselves. And then also... look at like be like, like hold on to this inner child feeling which is like the if if you think about it most of us only remember how to be in the 5d or in high frequency energy when we were a kid and we were just playing right if you had a, a decent childhood or you had moments of a decent childhood um so that's what you're doing you're going from doing heavy intense serious spiritual work to doing like being like a child and also thinking about you they're escaping they're using you as a method to escape and think of that like, keep themselves in high frequency vibration by thinking about you in like a very positive way like a divine energy like this is my twin flame this is my divine counterpart like i can imagine a life with them like this or that or something like that so you can see them going back and forth in these kinds of energies Yeah, so I feel like for some of you, this is someone you're in little to no communication with or it's been a minute or you've just met this person. This might be someone who is has a crush on you, actually, and someone you might not actually think about too much or um, someone that you had a relationship with or had a friendship with um, or someone that you um, are still interested in but... Um, are wondering what's going on with them it's like what's happening i haven't heard from them for a minute or it seems like something's going on with them yeah so this is like a check-in for you i have a bonus message for you pile 88 and that is how well do you fit in with their other thoughts right now so their thoughts about you how do they fit in with their normal thoughts during the day you know or right now slumber and nine of swords okay so the guidebook for this deck um came in the form of poems it's a really short one so i'm just going to read it real quick forget everything at hand 
and think of sleep as a dear friend who paints the world in the hue in the blue hour of twilight when all burdens fades away. Whether to cross the sea of the arid sand or the fields of the glacial frost towards a more fertile land pressing on without respite, strength alone will fail you. Rest is part of the process. Regain your might. Close your eyes and dream tonight. Morrow comes, you shall rise fresh as dawn. So it definitely feels like they're kind of in like a dark night of the soul moment. For some of you, I feel like this is someone who's like kind of further along on the journey. So it's just kind of like this one last bit of releasing um, is really, really big one. Um, you know, during, like after your spiritual awakening, you have moments where there's like, like little awakenings where you have such profound truths that you didn't cover or that paradigm shift that kind of changes the way you see things again. Um, but for a lot of you, this is like their dark night of the soul. And a lot of things are kind of crashing and burning for them. And they just need to rest. Especially even with the nine of swords. Like they just need to rest. And um, it's taking a lot of energy out of them. If you've been through a spiritual awakening or through like huge spiritual epiphanies or clearing, releasing, purging, and that kind of energy... Um, you, you know how much energy it takes out, right? Like you just, you're just out. You kind of have to do the bare minimum. You want to take days off as much as you can. Um, you're eating a lot. You're trying to keep yourself healthy, but you, at most, you just really need to sleep. You just need to do your inner work. Um, you know, journal, talk to people, research, go down rabbit holes, um, but get sleep. The main thing is get sleep, get rest. It's like the only thing that keeps, and you're doing a lot of work sometimes and comes in phases, but if there's a lot of energy on the, on the planet and you're meant to kind of like get going, you'll do a lot of work in your dream state. So then you wake up tired too. So it's like a, it's like a lot of that, just being tired and doing inner work and doing all this energy work. And you just have to remember to rest and drink water and try to keep healthy as much as you can try to get out in nature go for nature walks and then everything else just the basics you know clean clothes bare minimum work you know minimal socializing um just rest rest is a big thing um so you can you can see that they definitely are leaning on your energy or your higher self's energy for support at this time to just kind of um, give them something to get through this, all right? Um, but it does seem like they're, they see the light at the end of the tunnel, or if they don't yet, they are going to soon, and every day is better, and they're getting so much done, so, so, so much done. So if you're interested in this person, it seems like they're going to come out of this experience as a new person and ready to take on the world and probably possibly with you. I mean, they, they see you in that light, <laughs> Um, if this is like a twin flame energy or someone that you've been in little to no communication with for a very long time, it could be that they are finally awakening and, um, seeing this connection in a different light. Um, or if there's a new person coming in, it feels like they're coming in the right way. They're getting through the transformation first and then they'll come to you when they're through that transformation. For some of you who have already started talking to this person or dating this person, getting to know this person, um, you can tell that they're going through something and that's because they came into your life so you can help guide them or be their support system here and there if they need it and they ask for it. So pile 88, um, really, really big energies. I hope it wasn't too tough to hear, but I hope it was like really um, clarifying for you. Um, if it resonated, I really appreciate uh, like a comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. I wish you much love and light.